Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today, I'm continuing my Disney movie marathon, and I'll be reviewing one of the live action films that was produced by the company. This one is titled Pollyanna, which I actually do own on regular DVD, so I figured I would review this because, well, I want to review one of the more of older films from Disney and another live action film. This would be the first live action film from my, for this Disney Athon. Yeah, this this is like the fifth Disney Athon I did, I think. Yeah. I haven't, yeah, I haven't really done all that many we think about, but I did review quite a bit of films. So, I know not a whole lot of Disney fans may not have heard of this movie really. But, that's fine. I just want to review more stuff anyway. So, of course, as always, let's get into the plot of this movie, shall we? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. The lead character of this film is, of course, Pollyanna, whom is this 12-year-old girl. And she's an orphan daughter of this millionaire who arrives in this small town to live with her rich and strict aunt. Um, it takes place in the early 1900s and of course our main character is very cheerful, she's very happy, a good chunk of time, which became a character trait for a lot of these films whether, whether they're animated or not. Her aunt, however, does control most of the town when it comes to wealth. Oh yeah, folks, she's really loaded. Oh yeah, folks, overall, this was a pretty solid film for the entire family, I guess. And I mean, okay, maybe to a, de a certain degree, maybe it's a, it is a bit cheesy, I guess. But it, it's an enjoyable film, nonetheless. I quite enjoyed it. There's a good story, likable characters, a more lesson, and whatnot. And so yeah, I felt that it was definitely worth getting on DVD. Oh yeah. I'm pretty sure this film is on blue out on Blu-ray already, but I was always more of a DVD buyer. Maybe just me, I guess. I don't know. But overall, folks, this was a solid film. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the main character is a kid, really. I thought that I thought at first that was gonna bother me because when it comes to kid actors, most of them are pretty bad. They're either really annoying or just bad overall but thankfully the little uh, the actress the young girl that plays the main character in this film she does a rather solid job and she actually yeah, does a good job you know surprisingly she actually did rather good in this film I don't know if she did anything else other, other than this film she, she probably did I don't know but anyway so yeah I'll say this film is definitely worth checking out from folks because overall, it's a pretty good movie. And it's quite lengthy. It's about uh, roughly two hours. So it's quite lengthy. And this film is based on a book. I don't know if it's 100% faithful or not. Because I haven't read the book myself. And I'm just going to judge this film as a film because, well, it's a film. And. That's not surprising to me because what Disney has based some of his films on books before, even some of his animated stuff like uh, the original Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, it, that's, that movie is based on a book. And so is Alice Wonderland. That was also based on a book as well. And, but anyway folks, it's, it's not that bad of a movie. I'll say, just check, check it out. I enjoyed it myself. So. I honestly really didn't have any problems with the film as a whole, folks. You just have to be in the mood for it, of course. And, yeah, it's your typical Disney stuff that's going on here, folks. He has his own little magic to it, which is, of course, totally fine. It really didn't do all that well at the box office at the time, which I don't understand because it wasn't really all that bad of a movie, really. It's a good film as a whole, folks. It has its charming moments. And it's magical touch to it. So, if you've seen a lot of the Disney films in the past, 
So yeah, just be sure that you, that's pretty much what you would expect. It doesn't do anything brand new, but still. The music for this film wasn't too bad, folks. The music was well, was well written and it's solid, I guess you could say. With the Disney movie, of course, the music was gonna pretty, be pretty good. When it comes to Disney, they make they make uh, this studio has made some good music. Well, most of the time, anyway, they did most of the time. So yeah, folks, I'll say the music in here isn't too bad, I suppose. Yeah, it didn't come out forced. It didn't come out forced. It, it the musical, the music that was done for the film actually went along with the story. So can't complain because it fits within the context of the overall story. So it fits just fine. It goes along with creating this particular mood. I mean, yeah, it's pretty adventurous in its own little way, I guess. And so yeah, it's not that bad. And like I said before, yeah, maybe to some degree this movie is a bit cheesy, I guess. But there is a certain charm to this film, folks. There is definitely a certain charm to it overall. And all right, so yeah, I can't really complain really. I can also say I did like the uh, the dresses that the female characters wore. All the dresses look really nice. And then even the main character's dress, the little girl that plays the main character, even her dresses came out rather nice. The film actually looks like it has a budget. Okay, maybe not maybe not the biggest budget in the world, but still. Even for the male actors, their suits, their outfits came out rather nice as well, so the everybody looks really neat, really nicely posed and whatnot. And the camera work for this film wasn't too bad either. The camera work was really nicely done. Nobody came out out of frame or anything. Everybody was in the frame of the camera. So the camera work was really nicely done. So no complaints there either. So it was a solid camera work right there, folks. The way it was shot was good. I like I like a lot of the camera angles as well. A lot of the camera angles were, not, were nicely done as well. So quite an obvious effort been done in that department that's for sure oh yeah so yeah folks bottom line this is definitely a period piece where it takes place at a certain time at a certain period in the past so i don't mind that really as long as it's done right i guess you can say there's a pretty good story to it folks and so yeah it does attempt to have likable characters which it does quite often and I really liked how this film brings itself together and is definitely well crafted as a whole. This film must have been a nightmare to edit together because it's a little over than two hours in length, folks. So yeah, thankfully the editing of this film is actually really well done. It doesn't come off amateurish at all. So the editing is definitely one of the best high marks of the film itself. A lot of people believe that the editing does make the film. And in this case, that's definitely true. The editing does make the film. So, this film is proof of that. No matter how good the story is and the acting, this film would have been a total disaster if the editing was extremely sloppy. Thankfully, they got some of the best editors for this film so can't we really complain too much I guess yeah there is a message in this film folks but thankfully it's done right messages in family films tend to be pretentious but thankfully it's done right in this film and it doesn't shove it in your face thankfully so yeah the ant character is pretty good I guess everyone does a solid job as well folks and so yeah overall folks this is definitely one of the remarkable films that came out from the Disney Studios. It's really uplifting and it's painfully truthful about human ways. Even though it is set in the early 1900s, its message is still very able applied to modern world and it was definitely good folks. You still apply its message nowadays I guess you can say. So yeah, it's generally heartwarming at most and it definitely has its moments as the story progresses so I can't really complain too much about it really because it really does its job it knows what it is the film is aware of what it's trying to be 
and it definitely succeeds at what it's attempting to do overall. So yeah, this film definitely showed a uh, great side of Walt Disney himself, and overall this film was really good folks, it was really really good. During a particular screening of this film, Walt Disney himself had wept from his eyes because it was really touching, and he really did a great job with this film folks, in regards of characters, stories, script. The script itself was really well done, folks. So yeah, in regards of plot and characters, he does a great thing right here, folks. And the acting was great as well, folks. So yeah, this is definitely a great film as a whole. The film is set in a particular set of time in this town where all uh, politics and decision making are controlled by the wealthiest person. One of the wealthiest people in this town, as I mentioned before, is the character's aunt. So, uh, until being adopted, the little girl Pollyanna did not live a several spoon lifestyle. And we, the viewers, soon find out that she is a very poor person while living with her ministry parents before they died. This is a somewhat way to explain that she is only a uh, beat and glad I guess you can say she does play the card game with her new friends and neighbors and Generally wins over the entire town with her optimism and love of course and I really like how this story was very moving and how it makes it really moving is the way that this little girl makes grown-ups realize that they should be happy to be wealthy and alive but not only wealthy what really matters is your health no matter how much money you have, your personal health is what makes you rich at heart, I guess you can say. Why are there's nothing wrong with wanting to make a lot of money, but if your health is poor, then you really don't have anything at all. So that's a good thing right there, folks. So yeah, overall, folks, this film is definitely well crafted as a whole, and I highly recommend this film for those who may not have seen it as of yet. I enjoyed it myself, folks. Which in some ways is surprising because I often find kids as main characters awfully annoying. So in this case, that was the one exception where I didn't mind it really. So the actress that plays the main characters does a good job just like everyone else. So everybody does a good job and I would recommend the fact that this is definitely worth buying on DVD. An enjoyable flick nonetheless. So yeah folks. I highly recommend this film because it's a good movie, it really is. It's entertaining and so overall has likable characters as a whole and I found it to be rather entertaining as a whole so I really don't regret buying this folks, oh yeah. Of course this, this is a special collector's edition of the film because this came out from the Walt Disney Vox or whatnot, yeah. So this is de definitely the special edition collectors collection, I guess. So that's pretty cool, right there, folks. Oh yeah, really like the film, folks. Really did. I'm saying it's worth watching. I, I personally enjoy it myself. So a good movie, nonetheless. A really good film overall. So Pollyanna, this film it gets an overall rating of a seven point. 3 out of 10. It gets a 7.3 out of 10 for me. And as always, thanks for watching and take care. See ya. Oh yeah.